Hey everyone, this is Sal Congeloso from Geek.com. I'm here at the Samsung Galaxy S5. This is probably the most highly awaited Android phone of 2014, so uh, I just wanted to spend a few minutes with it. Uh, right now we're going to be looking at the hardware. Later on we'll do some follow-up videos looking at the software and different features, especially if uh, people write in with requests. But yeah, let's just get going with this. It's the uh, this is the Galaxy S5 in white, obviously. It's a 5.1 inch Android 4.4 device. It's got a 1080p display, which uh, the full clarity and color of won't really come through on a video like this, but uh, it is a gorgeous display. Uh, comparable, possibly better than the HTC One M8 that we uh, looked at previously. The uh, On the back, we could see that sort of it's not really coming through that great on the video, but it, it's that sort of band-aid pattern that people uh, talked about prior to coming out when we first started seeing pictures of this. It's basically just a, a grid of dots. It's a it's a plastic, a light plastic like last last time. It's not I wouldn't call it grippy, but it definitely has some grip to it. It's just not one of those soft touch materials. Who got used to? Got the uh, the single camera on the back with the LED flash. On the front, we have, uh, on the top rather, we have uh, the headphone jack, which ha has a little bump there. Then we have your uh, your mic, your uh, the volume button on the side. Here's the USB, or your uh, you know your power connection on the bottom. You can see that it's covered with this little flap here. The uh, this is because the phone is uh, water and dust resistant. It's supposed to be good, I think, up to uh, up to a foot deep for 30 minutes. We haven't tested the, the water and dust resistance yet, but uh, it has undergone testing at Samsung facilities. So uh, this little protection there and then uh, sealing around different components in the back will help out. Uh, that's the inside, but uh, and that looks pretty standard there. Uh, you can see the micro SD slot handles up the 128 gigs. Uh, so on, on the inside of the case, which is again that same uh, plastic that we've seen in the past, which is, is kind of light and flimsy, but uh, it also doesn't break. It's it's pretty tough and it holds up well, at least in my experience. We can see the ceiling around the battery compartment. So if you were to just match that up, you could see that light ceiling. Uh, it gets your uh, your contacts here, your uh, SIM and micro SD and uh, of course the battery. The uh, components like the speaker, those are sealed on their own, so you don't have to worry about that. And then of course the camera, the, uh, the lens is fully sealed, so that's taken care of. Uh, since we got the phone here, we'll do a quick look at the case. Uh, this is the Galaxy S5 case. Maybe we'll do a standalone video on that, but the important thing to see is it has, the, uh, it has that ceiling there as well, and uh, we have it in this kind of strange a uh, green emerald type color. The uh, case, the rear casing clips right on in the back. Really easy. And uh, that's going to cover most of the hardware stuff. The uh, phone feels really nice. You know, I, I think uh, it's getting less plasticky over time. It's still primarily a plastic device, but you have a really prominent ridged uh, band around the side that has a nice metal feel to it. Definitely doesn't have the heft or the uh, the sort of uh, craftsmanship of the HTC One M8, but uh, I, I wouldn't. I don't pick this up and feel like it's a not a well-made phone. So it's just a it's just a different thing, and I could see people definitely preferring this over some other devices. Real quickly, look at the uh, display since that's probably the most important piece of the hardware and uh, we'll kind of get a feel for that uh, quad-core processor which is running in there. It's got 16 gigabytes of storage, which is not a whole lot, but uh, considering they have the micro SD card, it should be fine for most people. The, uh, yeah, hey, it's me. The, uh, the phone is pretty snappy, quite smooth, and uh, you really feel that processor doing its job there, so that's really cool. The uh, 
AMO LED display. It, like I said, it looks really great. Just a really clean image. It's kind of got that sort of uh, that oversaturation that we've gotten used to, and uh, some people are going to really like. Some people are. Uh, I think it drives them crazy. So that's uh, worth worth factoring in. And then. Uh, Camera pops up nice and fast. A lot of features. I wouldn't. I don't know. This is going to be one of the biggest selling points on the phone, but it does have a very nice camera. Uh, we'll do a standalone article on that, as we did with the HTC One and the Galaxy S Five and the HTC One M Eight and uh, the Nokia Nine Twenty Eight and all those other ones. So uh, yeah, stop by Geek for that, and uh, we'll do more hardware coverage coming soon. And then just uh, write in with any comments or questions, and we'll keep the coverage coming. This is Sal from Geek.com with a quick look at the Galaxy S5 hardware. Thanks for watching.